I'm going to look here at a very simple means of qualitative temporal analysis. What I've got up in my available bands list is a number of different files that have been created from Landsat images to view the normalised burn ratio of, of the Darwin region. So if we look in the, in the available bands list here, first of all I have the image that was created that was acquired on the 27th of April 2010, one from the 14th of June 2010 and one from the 17th of October 2009. Now the first thing that I'm going to look at is actually putting these images into a file together so that I can display them as a multi-date image. So what I'm going to do is to go to basic tools, layer stacking, and I'm going to import those three files. So I cl click on import and select my three normalized burn ratio files. Now what I want to do is actually to reorder those because at the moment they're not in, in sequential order in terms of their dates of acquisition. So I click on reorder files and I can just click and drag these files to move them around a little bit. So I want the October 2009 image first, then I've got April 2010 and June 2010 so that's okay. I'm happy with that and I'm content to leave the projection information exactly as it is. Then all I need to do is choose an output file name and run the process by clicking OK. So if I open the file that's been created using that process, I now have this three band image and you can see the, names, the name of the individual bands um, is related to the, um, the dates on which they were acquired. What I've actually done here is I have simplified though I have simplified the the band names there and to do that you can quite easily go up to uh, right click on the name and edit header and if you go to edit attributes and band names you can select any of these bands that you like and change their name in that area there. So when you originally make the file it may have a, a long rather convoluted name and so sometimes it's just easier to make that name a little bit simpler and you can just click OK to finish that off. So let's have a look at what the image looks like. First of all I'm going to display as RGB the, the 17th um, of October 2009 as red and then green for April 2010 and blue for June 2010 and then I simply go to lo load RGB. Now this image can take a little while to understand and to navigate around. So what you're looking at you need to remember here is the way colors mix together. So if we go to an area for example that we see is is a cyan color. We understand that cyan is made up of an input of blue and green together. Now if we look at how the bands have been assigned we know that blue was from June 2010 and green was from April 2010. So a cyan color in the image indicates a high reflectance value of those two dates and a low reflectance value of the, th of the other date which was October 2010 shown in red. Now if we were to look at the individual grayscale images of those dates we would see that this particular area was burnt in October 2009 so it had a dark value in that MBR image um, but the value was much brighter in the following two dates which is where we get the cyan color from. Now, If we go to an area for example that is bright white when you see something that is is white that means that it's bright in all three bands that have gone into making that that pixel there so bright in the red green and the blue or high reflectance values in each of those bands which means that there was a high reflectance value on each of those three dates so then you need to think about what the value <coughs> what the value of a normalized burn ratio means if it's a bright if it's a bright pixel there you can also look at a spectral profile. Now this is, again, this is really looking at a time series profile as opposed to a standard spectral signature. But it gives you an indication of what's contributing to those individual bands. So if the values are, are bright or, or high in one, in, in one date compared to another date. 
So as you move around the image, just get a bit of a feel for how the colours are mixing together and what that actually means. So if you're looking at something that was burnt on all three dates, what colour would you expect it to be? If it wasn't burnt at all, again, what colour would you expect it to be? Or if it was burnt on just one of those? So it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but it is a really quick way of of initially viewing any changes in the environment based on three dates.